Sometimes I wonder, why did we deny Raila Amolo Odinga the votes? <laughs> but I want to say here, and say it loudly, I think the Kikuyu community has been vindicated. We can work with anybody, can't we? What are we seeing today? We are seeing men and women who are walking around, carrying ill-gotten wealth, and they don't have the shame and temerity. They continue vomiting on our shoes. I am glad the president has just cancelled and banned Harambis. But we pray that that is not cosmetic. We are saying if you are burning Harambis, let us burn them. But let us burn stealing too, because we are also allowing stealing. It is wrong for us to keep quiet when men and women are doing what is not right. And therefore I have stood and said, I will not stand aside as you do what is wrong, regardless of whether I'm wearing yellow or not. And therefore, we have continued to say that we voted for a government to give services to the people of Kenya, regardless of where they come from. And if what we voted in must count for something. Gen Z, Mko. Wonderful. Badu mnakula KFC. You can see the kind of leaders we have. They have lost touch with reality. I was the first man to say that there was a problem with that finance bill. Did you hear me say it? What did I say? I said finance bill. They called me names. Spoke about me in parliament for two hours. They said I was clueless and I didn't know what I was saying. I posed to them a question between them and now. And me, who now knows what he was saying? <laughs> and what we must say is that leaders must never lose touch with the common people. Yes. Because this is a challenge we have. Once we get into our Range Rovers and the big V8s, go to those special places, we then forget where we came from. A few days ago, we were all here kneeling and begging you, please vote for us, singing songs that you asked us to sing. But when we get to those privileged positions, then we forget that. And it is important that we are reminded. Thank you, Gen Z, for reminding us that. The other day they said that I was organizing Gen Z's. And I said, if Gen Z's who are my sons and daughters come to my office and they say they wanted to be addressed by the governor, wouldn't I be stupid not to address them? And so I will continue addressing them. <laughs> but I wish you well. I want to tell you that you are now in the mountain. This is where the mountain is. Nababa karibu mjie kwa mlima. Last time we well, ulitafuta watu hawajui mlima. Come and we see that. May God bless you so very much. Asante sana. Governor Asante sana. Damu ya mau mau hiyo.